going on guys just wanted to make a little follow-up video for the Sporland Smart Pro R tools I made a video a couple weeks back before I did the review when I first had received the tools and had been using them for about a week or two where I noticed a crack in the clear plastic on I believe it was the low pressure sensor I made a video just documenting what I found as well as reached out to Sporlin. they were very quick to respond and what they ended up doing is sending me a brand new set with a prepaid label to send the old set back so they could send it over to engineering where they could take a look at it and see if there was some sort of underlying issue or something going on uh, that was causing the cracks. Since then, Sporlins contacted me just to let me know that the engineers weren't able to recreate the cracks at all whether it be from impacts, whether it be from over-tightening, refrigerant oil. They basically ran through the whole list and were not able to recreate it, which is a good thing, um, meaning that it was either just some sort of fluke, it was damaged in manufacturing, possibly damaged in shipping, but nothing to do with in-field use or a fault in the plastic or anything like that. So... Um, since they did reach back out to me and let me know this, I just wanted to relay it to anybody that may be interested in this tool, may have the tool. Um, since then, since I've received this set, it's been close to two weeks now. I've used it several times. I haven't had any issues, cracks, or anything, um, which, is, which is great. So just chalking that up to just a fluke thing, which is unfortunate because they sent me the set to review and it just so happens that the fluke had to be in that set but like I said I want to make everything as unbiased as possible so when I see something like that I definitely want to uh, just record it make note of it uh, just for for anybody that's interested but rest assured it's not an issue with the tools at all they're IP65 rated they're tested in drop tests um, oil tests pretty much you name it um, they've been tested for and they have been proven to be very durable. So again, just wanted to follow up. I've gotten some requests to, to review the original Sporlin tool. I don't have one of those, so if I can get my hands on one, I'll be more than happy to make a review. Um, but like I said, this, uh, this is the step up from those as far as the range, as far as the durability goes. Um, but again, these are a little bit more tooled towards the refrigeration side versus the residential or commercial HVAC, but they can easily be used for both as, as you can see in my video. So again, I want to thank Sporlin for sending the tools out for review. Greatly appreciated. Uh, thank everybody for watching. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave those in the comments and uh, we'll see you on the next one.